Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to discuss another set of Databricks interview question and this is part 8 in the whole series that I have created. So moving ahead, the question that we are going to discuss today is again a very commonly asked question. What is the difference between an accumulator or a broadcast variable? So in case you have been working on Spark, you already know what exactly an accumulator is, what exactly a broadcast is, right? So we do use these two things in general whenever we are working in Spark. These are like a quite a common uh, things to use. So interviewer expects that you know these terms already and at least you are able to define them correctly, right? So let's move ahead and see what exactly accumulator is. So when talking about accumulator, it is nothing but it is a variable that's all right you don't have to think too much you know don't uh, you know think that it is a very uh, some you know very difficult concept to understand no it's not a difficult concept to understand it is very easy it is just a variable remember just few points about accumulator and it is all done the first thing that you need to understand about accumulator is it is a variable that's all and you just need to update that variable and that variable is called an accumulator variable now what happens in the accumulator is that variable has to be updated by associative or commutative operations only right this is the first uh, point that you need to remember that accumulator is nothing but a variable the second thing is it has to be only updated by associative or commutative operations and this variable is right only so what happens is whenever in spark you're trying to do any kind of computation right you are trying to do any etl operations then what happens is your executors are actually trying to do some operation they might be trying to do some addition operation right now there is a variable which is called your accumulator variable now this variable can be updated by all your executor nodes right but this updation has to be associative or it has to be a commutative operation associative and co uh, commutative operation typical mathematical operations right associative as in like when you start uh, let's say you have a plus b plus c right if you do a plus b plus c or you do c plus b plus a both are same right so those are called your associative operations so these things that you need to uh, take care while learning about accumulators and remember that accumulators are right only right and the reading of accumulator can only be done by the driver program driver is the only program which can actually read your accumulator it is just a variable and your etl operations are working and uh, in your executor nodes and executor nodes can update right your accumulator variable using associative or commutative operations and then your driver program can read it that is essentially the whole concept of having an accumulator coming on to the broadcast variable it is similar to a join right in broadcast variable what happens is if we have a data frame if we have a very small size data frame now the size of that data frame is again a different question we are not going in that direction right now so if you have a comparatively smaller data frame then what you can do you can broadcast it to all the executor nodes that you have in spark right you can broadcast it broadcast it means that if you have four executor nodes now what will happen is to each and every executor node to each and every four executor nodes you are giving a copy of your data frame you are giving a copy of your broadcasted data frame you are giving that copy to each and every executor now just because executors all the four executors have a copy of your broadcasted small data frame then what is happening they do not need to read the data they do not need to go and you know take the data from one another there is no shuffle happening because they already have the data with themselves and they can use directly use that particular data from the data frame so what essentially is happening there is no shuffle involved between the executors what is happening because just because you have the data frame already at the executor right you already have the data frame at each and every executor so executor do not need to look after each other to get the data they already have it right so what happens is it reduces shuffles and there is no network io involved now in that case they are really helpful now what size of the data frame should be broadcasted and all this is a completely different 
uh, topic we are not going to cover it in this particular question now similarly what we'll do now we will actually go and see you know how uh, you know we can understand your accumulator and broadcast variable from the quoting perspective right because that is also something that you should know because the another question the moment you explain this theoretically the another question that comes up that might come up might uh, would be like can you show us the syntax the basic syntax how you can do it or maybe they can give you some question around it right so let's see what exactly broadcast uh, you know how you can use the broadcast so if you see i have a dictionary over here defined right states now the uh, key is dl bl mb and hy right so each of these dl means delhi bl means bangalore mb means mumbai uh, hy means hyderabad although they are not states they are just the cities so but still i have just named it as states bear with it so essentially this is just a dictionary now the basic syntax is you know sc dot broadcast right spark context if you have been watching my previous video you already know what is spark context and all if not go ahead watch my databricks playlist i have two playlist on a uh, databricks go ahead and watch it you will understand these concepts so sc dot broadcast and whatever you want to broadcast right whatever you want to broadcast you will just put it here so i want to broadcast my states right i want to broadcast this particular thing i want to broadcast my states i'll just broadcast sc dot broadcast and inside that you just broadcast whatever you want to now in this case i want to broadcast my states variable which is nothing but a dictionary right which has key value pairs now i'm calling it as broadcast states right and then what 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 is the next step that i'm trying to do i have a data frame i've created a data frame which has employee first name employee last name like first name surname then it has the country where the person is staying which is india in and then they have the city or in this case uh, i'll since i've just named it as state so let's say it as states so and they reside in delhi bangalore uh, mb and hy and these are the codes right so this is my data frame now what i am trying to do i am trying to uh, this is basically a list now from this list i am trying to create a rdd right sc dot parallelize i have talked about it multiple times so these coding basics i have already talked in lot of my videos so sc dot parallelize and then i am giving this list inside and i am getting the rdd as an output so this is how you create an rdd as well right so i have created an rdd now in that rdd what i am trying to do i am saying that my result is equal to rdd dot map i am using map here in my previous databricks interview question i have already explained what is map and of course in my previous playlist videos as well rdd dot map and inside map i am using lambda function lambda function what it is doing it is taking each and every value right it is taking each and every row over here from the data from the rdd which is created and it is saying x of 0 x of 0 is employee first name x of 1 is employee surname x of 2 is india in over here and then the third option over here is uh, the fourth option essentially over here is state underscore convert x3 right what it is trying to do it is trying to call a function now the name of the function is state convert and this is defined here now let's see what this state convert is doing the state convert is going and it is taking a code as an input and this code is nothing but x3 right and what is this x3 this x3 is dl bl mb hy right it is taking these codes and then it is saying broadcast states that i have already broadcasted my states go there and get me the value of that particular code so if my value is dl get if my code is dl then get me the value of it the value is delhi right and then just dot collect and print the result the moment i run it you will actually see the output as employee name employee surname in delhi right so now instead of code you have the state now what essentially it has done so if you understand from this it has taken states and it has broadcasted it using sc dot broadcast right now each and every executor node that is trying to do my uh, computation of map right it already has a copy of this 
it already has a copy of this so it will what it will go and do it will just take the code here the code it is getting as an input from the rdd and using that uh, using the broadcast it knows that this code is actually for delhi and it is printing me the result so this is how your broadcast is actually done in the real world now similarly let's go and see how accumula accumulation is done right uh, accumulation is a long word but how accumulator is used now when you talk about accumulator what essentially is it is now accumulator syntax is also pretty same right sc dot accumulator and whatever you do you, you first have to define a variable so accumulator is nothing but a variable right so the first line this line right line number one what it is trying to do it is trying to create a accumulator variable right you can name it as anything right and how do you create it you just say sc dot accumulator similar to you say sc dot broadcast right you just say sc dot accumulator now inside it you define that variable right now i am saying that my variable is zero it is zero right and then i am saying that okay it is zero then create an rdd after that i am creating an rdd because i need to do some etl operations right i need to have some data now my etl op for my etl operation i have created the rdd sc dot parallelize right a way to create the rdd now inside it i am giving a list right 1 2 3 4 5 now this is the list that i have and i have created an rdd out of it then the third thing that i am trying to do is i am saying that rdd dot for each what i am trying to do i am going inside the rdd right now for each element of this rdd which will be x accumulator variable now the one which i have which we have created here dot add x right in this zero the variable that i have created in this accum variable that i have created add x and what is add x x is nothing but each and every element of rdd so it is going and summing it up and then if i go ahead and try to print accum dot value right if i try to print it right let me just run it again then the moment i run it what happens is 2 0 first one gets added then two gets added then three gets added then four then five and then the sum total is 15 so this is how your accumulator and your broadcast variable actually works in databricks and spark so i hope you like this video do remember to like subscribe and share because until you like until you subscribe until you share in fact uh, you know even i will not get that motivation to spend my time here right so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like subscribe and share